There's a good chance that if you're running out of space on your iPhone, there is something called other storage. It gets categorized as other, and it takes up a bunch of space in a lot of iPhones, and people have no idea how to actually remove that or what it is. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you what it is and how to remove it, because it's not very, very clear what other storage is. Let's jump into the iPhone. And go ahead and open the settings app on your phone here. And we want to go down to general here. Let's click on general. And then let's go ahead and select iPhone storage right here. Now, right on top, it's going to basically break up your iPhone storage into different categories. A lot of times photos and apps will take up most of your categories. And I just removed what was other, which was another 10 gigabytes that showed up over here in my test. I actually removed it. So I wanted to make a video to show you how I did it. And it usually is gray. It's just a lighter gray than what this looks like. And it'll show up over here as other. Now, a lot of times what that is, is either system files or a lot of times is cache files. Now, cache Cache files are basically things that get put on your phone so the next time you go somewhere to an app or a website, it actually loads it a little bit faster because the cache files are locally stored on your phone. But you may not want that and it may be storage that you really need to get back. So let me show you how to do it. On the same page, I'm going to actually go back here and let's go back one more time. We just basically want to get back to settings here. And the most common place that you will actually find cache files is if you scroll down and go to Safari right here, the internet browser Safari, and if you scroll down on here, you could actually clear your website data. In a lot of cases, this will open up some other storage on your iPhone. I'm gonna click on it, and let's go ahead and clear history and data. And just like what's going on with Safari with storing cache files on your phone, lots of other apps are doing the exact same thing. So think of the five apps that you use all the time and go ahead and do the same thing. I'll show you as an example. Let's open up TikTok here. And on TikTok, for example, if you go to your profile page right here and you press the three lines right on top, let's go ahead and scroll down. I haven't done it with TikTok yet. So you'll see clear cache. So 140 megabytes of storage, usually categorized into other storage is over here. So I, I could select this option right here and it's gonna actually erase it. So now I have zero. So just like that, I saved 140 megabytes. Now they add up, right? 140 megabytes times 10 is a gig and a half, and that's how you save up that other storage. And if you can't figure that out, or you can't figure out how to clear cache in a certain app, really all you have to do is erase the app, basically delete the app, and then reinstall the app, and that should clear the cache. Now it's gonna ask you to log in, so you should Remember your username and password before you do delete the app. But a lot of times that just takes care of that for you. And the last option I'll show you is back in settings, sometimes one of these options down here is going to be an iOS download. So I just had iOS, one of the older iOS, like iOS 14 here, that I had to actually delete because I already installed it. So sometimes they do show up here as a line item and it takes up two or three gigabytes, sometimes even more here. So go ahead and look for this list right here and see if system updates are showing it. And sometimes it does categorize those on their system, but sometimes it may be for others. But in almost all cases, your other folder is things that are cache related in Safari and in other apps like TikTok, Instagram, and really big social media apps take up a lot of cache space. So go ahead and clear that out, download the apps or reinstall the apps if you need to, and that should take care of your problem for you. Watch my other video if you still have storage issues. I show you how to take care of all of that using a bunch of different methods that are related to other things besides the other storage on your phone. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos, and I'll see you next time.